Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to talk about what I'm gonna be talking about today, and it is keratin treatment. It's something I get so many questions on, huge part of my life, because if you've watched my hair care video, you know that I have naturally super curly hair, insert picture of me now with my really curly hair. Um, it has changed my life, it has changed my hair. I'm gonna like fully, fully go into it as I always do. But today I'm kind of gonna like structure the way that I'm doing this video a little bit differently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm sort of gonna break it down and this is how I may, well, you could let me know if you like this style of video better when I'm doing informative sort of segments like this one in the comments below and let me know if you like it. What I'm gonna do is tell you what character treatment is, why I love it, how long it takes and how often do you have to do it, what the process is, what the aftercare is, and then I also on Instagram asked you guys any questions that you had concerning keratin that you would want me to cover in this video. So then I'm gonna do a little like Q&A kind of just with myself but with your questions. So what is keratin? First of all, Originally, it's called the Brazilian blowout. That was kind of like how it became, I guess, popular. Um, it was always called the Brazilian blowout. You know, people who used to go to like New York or Miami to go get an actual Brazilian blowout treatment because it wasn't in Canada. I remember people would like fly to Miami or New York to go get it done because it was kind of done in selective salons and it wasn't everywhere as it is today. Today, it's literally offered everywhere. Certain people do it at home, which by the way, I don't recommend, but I'll get into that. Basically, what a keratin treatment does is it changes the makeup of your hair. So if you are someone who has really porous, uh, dry, frizzy hair, generally people with curlier hair, thicker hair, coarse hair, do have more pores in their hair. Um, what it does is keratin is a protein, and it's a protein that our hair already has. So if you have straighter and oilier hair, you probably have a higher concentration of keratin already in your hair. It's this protein, keratin, back into your hair, kind of filling in those pores, and in turn making it smoother, less frizzy, and straighter. Essentially what it's doing is it's rebuilding your hair. So even if you have naturally curly hair um, and it's in super, super good condition, just because of the texture of your hair, you already have those bigger pores. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna put the protein in, it's gonna essentially make your hair healthier, um, and in turn your hair is gonna be shinier, smoother, less fr and a lot easier to style and manage. People always ask me this because I'm someone who tries to live my life as non-toxic as possible, but I'm not, especially with beauty, I'm not 100% there at all. Um, keratin treatment will never ever be non-toxic. Anyone that tells you that it's non-toxic is lying to you, or there's one ingredient that is really, really important to avoid, and that is formaldehyde. I'm gonna get into formaldehyde in not in a big way, I'm just gonna get into what formaldehyde is and why I make sure not to use any product. Obviously keratin is gonna have some chemical component to it because it's literally changing the makeup of your hair. With that being said, a lot of the ingredients in keratin products, and especially in the one that I use, which is called Keratin Works, gonna get a little more into it after. There are definitely gonna be a little bit of chemicals in it, but the really dangerous chemical that is in keratin treatments is called formaldehyde. A chemical compound or a gas, and it is extremely carcinogenic when it is inhaled. Formaldehyde's in everything. It's in glue, it's in household products, it's legit in so many things. But the last thing that you wanna have it in is your beauty products. Furthermore, especially when you're doing a keratin treatment, because of the process, which you will see in this video, um, you are basically ironing the treatment into your hair. Fumes are released, you kind of have like, because it's product, it smokes a bit. You are inhaling formaldehyde, it is so bad for you. Obviously, if you do it once in your lifetime, not gonna be the worst thing ever. But doing it repeatedly and repeatedly and consistently inhaling it is super, super dangerous and toxic and I am, I'm telling you now, this is like the most important part of the video, you need to make sure that you're using a product that is formaldehyde free. I am gonna link the product that I use. It's a company called Keratin Works, best keratin solution I've ever used that is formaldehyde free and I will link it below. It is not something that you, if you're not a hairdresser, you're not gonna be able to do it at home. You have to tell your hairdresser to order this product to use on you because you should not, like no one can kind of administer their own keratin treatment. You're gonna damage your hair and I don't suggest that. Okay, so this is the product that I use on my hair. We've been using this for over a year. It's by a company called Keratin Works. Um, it is a formaldehyde fee free treatment. It's also adding in the protein that your hair already has to make it straighter and more manageable. On the topic on the topic of formaldehyde, um, so when I first started doing keratin treatments, there was formaldehyde in it. Formaldehyde is definitely going to make your hair a lot straighter. Um, it's a serious chemical, so 
you know, the keratin that I do does not have formaldehyde in it, but, and so my hair will not become stick straight. If you go back and you think about Japanese straighteners, a lot of formaldehyde in it. Formaldehyde and these types of chemicals are really, really going to end up actually damaging your hair. Um, yes, the results will be better in terms of the fact that it's going to make your hair straighter, but then also keep in mind that it's in Drano, you know? So you just, you know, like you don't want to be fucking with formaldehyde, basically. It's like, that's the honest truth. We live so, in the US, the FDA doesn't control enough what is in our beauty products. Um, in Canada, it's a little bit different. Formaldehyde in beauty products is illegal. It's illegal in hair products because it is a cancer-causing agent, basically. So um, in Canada, you kind of don't really need to worry, but different ways that uh, companies can get formaldehyde in because they can put other chemicals in that when heated basically end up turning into formaldehyde. So. I'm not gonna get too scientific with it. I would just recommend that if you've never done a keratin or if you do do keratin and you're a fan of it, please check out the link in the description for the keratin that I use because I can guarantee you 100%, I've spoken to the owner in my due diligence, this product is 100% formaldehyde free and it actually works. It's even okay for pregnant women or nursing women, so it's like good to okay, go. So, so now I'm gonna go into the process of how a keratin treatment works, and I'm going to be sort of editing in some clips from the day that I actually did it about three weeks ago. So I'm walking into Barb's. This is where I do my keratin, my hair, my spray tan, do it all. So come in. Oh, Adrian. Adrian. Oh my god. Morgan looks like an old school Morgan. Oh, I'm about to get my hair washed. The way that we do it is with a clarifying shampoo. So we do two washes with a clarifying shampoo to really get all the buildup off the hair so that the keratin can absorb into the pore of the hair. No one wants to be on my camera, so this will be a one-man show as usual. I'm gonna wash my hair. I won't get you in. I'm gonna wash my hair. We're doing the clarifying shampoo. My hair is gonna feel kind of disgusting and then she's gonna apply the keratin and then I'm gonna let it sit. So, hold, hold on. <laughs> There's three products my keratin works. First step is you use the clarifying shampoo. This is gonna strip out any of the dirt, oils in your hair. It's really gonna open the pores in your hair so that it's ready to receive the next step, which is the treatment. So you're gonna get your clarifying shampoo. You're gonna go sit in your um, hairdresser's chair. You're gonna blow dry your hair. Your he is going to um, dry it out so that it's... So this is my hair after a clarifying shampoo and then blow dry it through and now we're gonna apply the product. So it definitely feels not the best, and it is parfait. Apply the keratin treatment to your hair. You're gonna sort of comb it through, and then you're gonna let it sit for about an hour. Um, so it just processes there. So now the product has been applied and combed through, and I'm gonna leave it in my hair for about an hour to an hour and a half to let it process. I'm actually gonna go off lunch. Usually people will stay at the salon. I like to leave and get things done. You can either bring a book with you, bring some work with you, um, on your phone, watch this YouTube video, do whatever you want. Um, but I generally schedule myself, so I, any errands that I have around the area for that hour, I'll either like go pick up lunch, um, go run a few errands, do what I gotta do, and then I'll come I back. put my hair into like a tight little bun, going for lunch with my sisters to waste the hour instead of just sitting there. Um, usually I'd run errands, I'd ship things out, do what I gotta do, and then I'm gonna go and do the ironing. When you come back after that hour or once the hour is finished. Okay guys, so I am back at the hair salon. We have a blow dry going down over here. And I have had this processing in my hair for about an hour. So now we are gonna go to the next stage of the keratin treatment and we are going to flat iron this. And I'm only doing my roots um, because that's really all I need. Everything else is still pretty keratin. It's really just the, the new regrowth of the hair. And basically, the way that we do it anyway is that we blow dry my hair, um, and then she uses a straight iron, and she goes one, two, three, four, five, bam, one, two, three, four, five. So I think, or, or is it 10 times? Basically process it and go over it with the straightening iron about 10 times. Really seal in the product and the treatment into the hair. By the way, throughout this whole time, whenever there's heat being put under the hair, uh, whether it's the blow dryer, whether it's the iron, I wear this. 
I've added it to my Amazon page and I've linked it in the description on this video. Something that my friend Lauren LBMTL who does my spray tan gave me. She wears it when she does a lot of spray tans. It's called a virus shield. You can breathe through it, but it blocks out all the toxins. So even though, like I said, I don't use a product with formaldehyde, I'm just doing my extra due diligence to not inhale any extra toxins if I don't have to. Optional, but it's definitely always better to be safe. If it's ironed into the hair, your hair is gonna kind of feel a little bit sort of, what would be the right word for this? Waxy. Okay, so I am done at my keratin treatment. This is what you walk out sort of looking like. If you feel it, it kind of has like a, I don't know, a texture to it. Um, but it does not look terrible and you now leave it on for 24 hours. It's gonna feel like you have a coating on it and it wax on it. I'm gonna give you a little like, a little PSA or attention to this. If you're going on a first date or you're seeing a guy who you have not been dating for a long time um, and you think he may go and touch your hair, don't go on a date that night because your hair ain't gonna feel good. It might have a little bit of a smell to it and he's gonna kind of be like, what the fuck's wrong with this girl's hair? If you're seeing someone new, avoid them that night. Just steer clear of it because your hair is definitely gonna be waxy. I actually, like in the beginning of my relationship with Chris, would try hard to like schedule my keratins when he would be out of town because we lived together quite early in the relationship and we were comfortable, but I also was like, oh my God, I feel bad for him that he has to like smell this because it's not a terrible smell, but there's a little bit of a smell. Too. Like you really only have to leave it in for 24 hours. Keratin works actually, you could even wash it out immediately. I like to leave mine in. Keratin works the way that it works, this product, is that once it's been ironed into the hair, it's there, it's processed. I personally leave it in for the extra 24 hours. I'm just, back in the day when I started doing keratins, it used to be 72 hours, so for me it's like, no, no, no I need to like sleep with it and leave it in. Um, you leave it in for 24 hours, and then you go back to the hairdresser the next day and you get it washed out properly. Um, and then they'll follow through with the Keratin Works treatment, which is gonna lock everything in and make your hair super shiny. Okay, so now I've kind of walked you through the process of what it is. I showed you a little bit of me doing it so that you can understand. Now I wanna go over how long it lasts and how long the whole process takes. So the whole process, as I would say, is about three hours. So you really need to schedule yourself properly. The time that you shampoo to get the actual product in your hair usually takes around an hour. Then you process for an hour, and then for the time that they blow dry it back and then iron it in is about another hour. So the whole thing is around three hours. And then how long do you have to wait to redo it? So it depends on your hair. So for me, I don't redo my whole head of hair. The keratin stays active in your hair. Um, I redo my regrowth. So I personally need to do my hair every three months because my hair grows out. So I'll generally do the root of my hair. So when she's passing with the iron, she'll do about 10 passes at the root and then just one through the rest of my hair because there is product that goes into the rest of the hair. The important part is really the root that is freshly grown out hair um, that needs to kind of match the rest of the hair. So I do mine every three months. I know people who could do it every five to six months. The truth is, is that if you're getting a product that doesn't have formaldehyde, it will make you need to do it a little bit more. If you've ever done it with formaldehyde in it and with more chemicals, generally you can get away with doing it twice a year um, because it really, really does straighten the hair when it has that formaldehyde in it. I think we don't want that, so you may end up having to do it three times. And now I just wanna quickly talk about why I love it and what the benefits for me have really been. Number one, it's changed my life. I never in my life thought that I'd be able to like jump into an ocean, jump into a pool, go on vacation, have this like beachy hair. I've always had super curly frizzy hair. Um, it was always an issue for me. It has been life changing for me. Being able to take a shower and not have to get my hair blow dried if I don't want to and still have manageable sort of straightish hair is awesome for me. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that it takes about a quarter of the time to style my hair. The fact that I can get a blow dry on a style in under 30 minutes is insane because in the past it used to take over an hour and I used to get at old salons I would go to get charged double for my hair because I have so much and it was so curly. You're also reducing the amount of heat and styling time onto your hair, which in turn makes your hair obviously healthier. It makes my hair really, really smooth and shiny. Um, if you look at my hair right now, this is about what, like I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of gross, but this is about six days in without a wash and my hair is super smooth, super shiny, looks really, really good, no frizz to it, um, and that's all thank you to the keratin because I naturally have extremely frizzy curly hair. Say to me, how do you work out and not ruin your hair? Like this hair right now is like five workouts in. Listen, don't judge me. And it's not healthy for you to wash your hair too much, but people always say to me like, how do you 
work out so much and keep your hair looking nice. Well, keratin. Like the reality is, is that even if you just take a blow dryer after um, a workout, if your hair is a little bit wet, you just kind of go like this and it will just go back nice and straight and it really smooths out the hair. So keratin, if you work out a lot, is actually very, very helpful to keeping your hair looking really nice and fresh. Another thing that I love about it is that it makes my hair healthy and it makes it grow faster. Um, Keratin is a protein like I told you so in general it actually is like getting an amazing treatment for your hair in the past I've used, I, I've used a lot of bad product Which is why I'm so adamant about you guys looking into the keratin works product because it is the first product We've been using it for over a year now. Um, it's the first product that has actually made my hair straighter um, smoother, less frizzy, which a lot of keratins can offer you, but not just that, it's helped the actual texture um, and health of my hair, and it really makes my hair grow. So, you know, I, I'm sure there's other products on the market that are good, but I've never found something that actually works as well as this, and that I've been so impressed with. So um, I definitely, definitely urge you guys to look into the product if you're gonna be doing Okay, so I wanted to just show you guys um, my hair post keratin treatment. I washed it this morning. I allowed it to air dry. I put in a little bit of product. You saw sort of like my before picture and what my natural hair looks like. So this is completely air dried. I haven't really touched it. I didn't blow dry. I didn't do anything. I still have my natural curl in the center. As you can see, my roots are going to be a little bit straighter because that's really where I did the keratin. Um, but I don't want it stick straight. I like having a little bit of this beachy wave. And then as I sleep with it, Tonight, it will sort of straighten out when I make it into its ponytail. So that is my air dried hair, one day post -care. And also, as you can see, just along my roots, everything is, there's still a little bit of a curl, but it's a lot more relaxed. And if I was to blow dry it, it would just instantly blow dry and go straight fast. Okay, so I feel like I've covered a lot of the topics. Now I just wanna get into aftercare. So you've gotten your keratin treatment, you're loving it, your hair is for easy to style and manage and et cetera. There is a little bit of aftercare um, situation. So number one, you wanna be getting a shampoo that is sulfate free of the shampoo from the company called Acure. I've been using that recently. In the past, I would also use Boo Bamboo Organic. So generally with my shampoos, I will either use the Keratin Works one or I will use one that's like from, a, from one that I can get like at a natural store that's sulfate free, paraben free, mineral oil free um, because those sulfates are really going to end up wearing down uh, the keratin and you really want to keep it lasting as long as possible. Make sure that you're using sulfate free shampoo. You don't need to worry too much about the treatment and conditioner. You really need to worry more about the shampoo because that's the thing cleaning out the pores of your hair and you don't want it to diminish the effects of the keratin too quickly. Second thing that you want to be really aware of and this is something that me and my hairdresser Steph from Barb's like not argue over is straightening irons sometimes I like my hair stick straight and I want to style it that way um, she hates using an iron on me for the most part when you get the keratin you don't need an iron it kind of takes the iron situation out of the equation because it really already smooths your hair and makes it like so manageable but if you really are looking to get that like super super stick straight hair you want to use a straightening iron straightening irons really do diminish the effect of the keratin treatment so you want to just avoid using too many hot styling coloring your hair with keratin so this is something that I've in the past had my hair colored and I've done keratins um, and I know a lot of people it's like a concern for them. Everyone's always like do I do the color before or do I do the color after? Do your color after. I urge you to do your color after because when you do the keratin it does strip away a little bit of the color. It can kind of like when the actual um, product is in the hair it almost makes your hair can sometimes look a little bit orange or lighter. So once you wash out it generally goes back to normal but you definitely especially if you're blonde um, you really really want to just do your color after your keratin. So book your keratin and then book your color like a week later. I would not do the color first because you may end up risking um, damaging it. So point, save your money and just do your color after. Cutting your hair. Um, would you cut your hair before or after? I generally, like if you're gonna do a big cut, like you're gonna cut off like a few inches of hair, do it before because why would you apply all this product and go through that whole process if you're just gonna cut it off? If it's just a little trim, I would actually do it after the keratin. Um, sometimes, sometimes you'll end up having to trim less. It makes your hair really healthy. So um, if you're doing a big cut, do it before. If you're doing a little trim. I really feel like I covered everything, but what I did was I asked on Instagram, what do you guys want? Any questions that you guys have um, to ask me? So I wrote them down here and I will ask them to myself and then answer them myself. So someone said, would you suggest it for oily hair? So I would not suggest it for oily hair. Generally, if your hair is already oily, you already have a lot of keratin in it. This is just gonna make it oilier. Not suggest it for oily hair. You have like 
regular hair that's not dry or not oily, um, but you just wanna like have smoother hair, I would do it. But if your hair is like oily and you, you wash your hair and then the next day or by the end of the day it's oily, don't do a carriage treatment. Someone says, I've done it, I've done it twice and I got a bunch of baby's hair after. So in that, in, in my opinion, chances are the product that, that was being used on this person um, was probably filled with chemicals. That's something that you're risking by using product with chemicals is that it can actually damage the hair and sort of give you those like little baby hairs in the front and burn off your hair because it does have chemical in it. Really, really make sure that you're getting a product that is formaldehyde free. The keratin works is the best product I've ever used. Again, it's in the description on this video. You can tell your hairdresser to get it or to look into it, but it is the best one I've ever used and I've never had a baby hair issue. And let me tell you, I had a lot of issues with cowlicks like here back in the day and I really, really do think that a lot of it had to do with keratin treatment. So someone's saying keratin treatment versus Brazilian blowout. Same thing, different name. Keratin treatment is a Brazilian blowout. It's just been completely rebranded, remodified since the Brazilian blowout was just the original. How does the treatment react to salt water on vacation? So for me, it doesn't affect it too much because I'm not someone that like goes overly in the salt water. Maybe in a trip I'll go, um, you know, once or twice. If you're someone who's gonna go on like a two week vacation in Cancun and you know you're gonna be in the salt water every day, splashing around, enjoying yourself, save the keratin and do it when you get back because it will definitely wear out your keratin quicker. How does it affect the quality of your hair? Like, will it make it thinner? Will it make it thicker? For me, um, again, by using Keratin Works, by using the right good product, it has only made my hair thicker, healthier, um, my hair doesn't fall out, it is amazing. If you use a product that does have more chemical, that isn't the best quality ingredient, you lose hair, which in turn will make your hair thinner. So, again, I urge you to look into the Keratin Works product. Um, Reason being is that it's the only one for me that's really, really worked so well over five times with the Keratin Works treatment. And I really wanted to see like after like a full, full year of doing just Keratin Works, like what's happened and my hair has only grown and gotten thicker and better. So I'm a testimonial, like I'm a living testimonial, best product I've used. Um, and then someone also asked, will I lose hair? So again, it all depends on what product you're using. It's like anything else, like you could use a serum um, a vitamin C serum that's like completely unstable and it just has, has a lot of chemical in it and it can make you break out and make your skin terrible or you could use a vitamin C serum that has excellent ingredients that is going to make your skin glow and amazing and all about the product that you're using. Um, this is something that I would not do on yourself. Do not go to someone like someone who is not a hairdresser or a stylist that has experience and do this. The Keratin Works product is available to purchase if you are a hairstylist. So again, link will be in the description on the video. Feel free to look into it or share it with your hairdresser. Um, if you live in the US, if you live in Europe, wherever, they can get it to you. So it's very, very simple um, to get it and to use. By the way, something that I wanted to mention in the video and I didn't is men can do it too. I know a lot of guys that do it, a lot of guys who have curly or coarse hair do keratin treatments on their hair even if it's short and it just makes their hair so much more manageable. So it's not just a female thing, it's for men too, um, which is great. So if you ever wanna have like a like couples date where you, your hair is both really waxy and kind of smells, get a keratin treatment. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, let me know if you actually like the way I did this so I kind of like broke it down. Um, I'm gonna try to put in the description like the times where I talk about different things. If you wanna go back and reference it, you can. Um, I hope it was informative to you. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next week.